We're chilling. We're chilling with Rick. He's gonna get to the story quick. Yeah, we're chilling. Yes, we're chilling with Rick. Chilling with Rick, everybody. All right, let's get to the sponsors. Upscale Exotics, reptile-only specialty store that carries exotic reptiles looking for homes. They have snakes, lizards, geckos, turtles, chameleons, tarantulas, and more. It's the store of the creepy critters. <laughs> With all the supplies, enclosures, and food, it's your one-stop shop, and they have knowledgeable staff located at 145 West Seneca Street in Sherrill, 315-367-5002. Games People Play, formerly Mind Games. It's a game store with so much more. They've been in business for 28 years. They have Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic the Gathering. Dungeons and Dragons and also sports cards. They also have retro video games and board games. Weekly events held in store and a knowledgeable staff located at 114 Madison Street in Oneida. 315-363-2448. Whitestown Automotive. Quality repairs at a good price. Just up the Thruway Bridge in Westmoreland. Boogie Dad's Music. Working on producing and distributing music on all platforms. And great royalty kickbacks for all performers. Oneida Carpets. Oneida Carpets, family owned and operated by Scott and Lynn White. They're both installers. They install carpet, laminate, vinyl, luxury vinyl, plank flooring, and ceramic tile. All of your flooring needs in one store. They're located at 174 Madison Street in Oneida, 315-361-9800. Big Girl Stump Removal. Do you have a stump that needs to be removed? I'm talking about a tree stump. <laughs> uh, then call up Big Earl. He's a great guy with very fair prices and he'll grind the stump right down to the roots. Give him a call at 315-363-5217. Papa Top. That place out there is just like Florida. It's a tropical paradise out there on that big old deck. Uh, they have obviously the outdoor deck, Adirondack chairs, picnic tables, bar stools, Grab some friends and go listen to some live music at Papa Top. Frog's Bar. Outdoor bar, picnic tables, Adirondack chairs, two fire pits for when fall comes. Uh, the owner, Mary, is phenomenal. She's a friend of mine. She wears the chill and zip up proudly. <laughs> and there's live music there all summer. Oneida Kellett Civic Center. Upcoming events include NU Wrestling on May 27th. I'll be at that. Absolute Adele, an Adele tribute show, coming October 22nd at 3 p.m. Get your tickets for that, oneidacallet.com. Also coming on Saturday, February 24th, 2024, is Appetite for Voltage, a Guns N' Roses ACDC tribute band. Get your tickets at oneidacallet.com. All right, on to my next guest. All right. All right. Quench my thirst. Lord be with me on this one. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Chillin' with Rick. Today I have the guys with me from Mean Street. Streak. 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 Mean I'm not Street. starting that mean over. Steak. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, Mean Steak. steak. You got mean Billy steak. Davis, correct? Yep. All you right. Going, Jonah Whitney. <laughs> Stand up. <laughs> got my son, Kevin Ladd, <laughs> representing Dad shirt. <laughs> and, there you go. <laughs> uh, so I've been dreading this like a motherfucker, guys, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh oh. <laughs> because I'm an old man out here sitting with the guys in a bunch of, you know, you're in your 20s. And I'm an old man. And I'm trying to be cool and I'm failing right. at it. I mean, he, he, he comes he's off. He's in his 30s. Billy, he's in his 30s. Billy comes <laughs> off as like 50, but he's actually like 19. He just has a rare disease. So. <laughs> I'm actually 251 years old. There yeah, you go. Fair. He's an elf. I'm like 254. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> so my last interview was up. my last interview was with Bruce Chandler. You guys are all familiar with him. We know him. It's been a couple weeks, and uh, I announced I was uh, retiring on that show. Come to find out, I'm not going to retire. I'm just going to cut back and not do 64 fucking episodes. Sounds like a good idea. A manageable yeah. idea. <laughs> 
What are you chilling with for drink? Uh, what are you drinking? Yeah, what am promote. I drinking? Yeah, we we uh, decided to bring our own drinks here to Rick because he didn't have anything strong enough for Main Street. So. That's right. We're bringing uh, some Myers Creek Brewing Company beers. You can zoom in on that after. If you guys <laughs> yes. like Myers Creek, make sure to come check us out. There, we're going to be there August fourth. We're going to be rocking out there. They're having an '80s party, so they cordially invited us. That's a day after my birthday. August. Yeah, there you go. That's a party. There it's we gonna go. Be a party. It's going to be a party. It's going to be a Let's party. Go. <laughs> Here, I'll get the crack right on the right in the mic. Oh, baby. Ooh, yes. Yeah. Oh, That's a doesn't one. that just make you feel alive? <laughs> yeah, that was a Myers Creek crack. That's a half a chub right there. <laughs> that was a Myers crack. That was a Myers crack right there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you only get those in the backyard and chilling with Rick. That's what's up. <laughs> this is a deadbeat show. <laughs> I don't even know why you guys are here, but I thank you for being here. <laughs> I'm now calling it Chilling with Rick the People Show because without the people, this would be nothing. I love my people. Here you are. There you go. Amen. What do you think about that? Salud, like de salud, salud, brother. Water. <laughs> <laughs> salute everybody to chilling. <laughs> For us, this is hydration because we always chug a bottle of Jack Daniels yeah. on our stage. You, yeah. I own an apology too. I ran into you at my ghost show it's really tim mcgraw but <laughs> i'm a country guy everybody gave you shit for that actually, <laughs> they did they too. did they did. i love tim mcgraw man i'm music a country is guy music, right? i'm a yeah. country guy at heart i love tim mcgraw he wasn't yeah. bad yeah and billy's like hey chilling with rick and i'm like what the fuck <laughs> yeah who's this fucking asshole and, I'm, and I'm just standing there it's just like, looking that's at mr chilling to you <laughs> <laughs> and i'm just standing there with an empty fucking look on my face he's like i'm billy i was like He's like, who's this nobody trying to make a name with chilling? Then he goes, I'm Kevin's friend. <laughs> Kevin who? <laughs> I like yeah, maybe, also... like, maybe look like a weird super fan kind of guy. I like how that's how you introduced yourself as my friend. <laughs> Kevin's friend. That's not what I said. Let me be clear what I said. I said... Kevin's, Kevin's band. I'm like, I'm, I'm in Kevin's band. I'm the bass player. Okay. Maybe that's what you said. I don't know, man. I'm old. I don't know. <laughs> I did not say I'm Kevin's friend. I wasn't that nonchalant about it. I mean, you do play bass, but we are I do friends. owe you an apology I, for I not knowing kind of who you are. Nah, it's all, it's all good. Plus, yeah. in the suit, it look, I look different. Yeah. Too, so. But he plays it. guitar too. He He's a sharp dressed man in a suit. Did you guys yes. know that? Yeah. Oh yeah. He, he, he cleans up. up nice. He comes in a studio dressed up in a up, suit. He just cleans up nice. He outclasses all of us. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he outclasses else? all of us and yeah. he spends all day in a casino. I actually so that's don't, I don't let my girlfriend it. around him, so. Yeah. <laughs> It's probably smart, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm digging into the ground here. I'm a little too fat. You should have brought a chair that's a little sturdier. There. See, I'm not there. set up for full band. You guys should have went to Z Show. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Chilling you know with Z? Rick Light. Wait, yes. Z. Yeah, who's Z? Anthony Donaldson. Goes by Z's in Utica. He oh. does what I do. Okay. Higher oh. class than what I got, but... Oh, interesting. Hey, don't I try to make out. it work. I don't sell myself short, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... You guys moved on from residence. We're not going to get into all that gossip. You know, you just moved on because mm -hmm. I don't want my show to be a gossip show. Yep. So you uh, had differences of opinion. And what was it like to try to find this guy? <laughs> At first, it was a challenge. We really, you know, we wanted to um, we wanted to really take our time and make sure we got the right person. So, yeah. you know, going through, you know, a whole bunch of auditions. It was a challenge, but it was one of those things. At least I look at it as being worth it because, you know, you audition for the right person now. You're not going to have to worry about, you know, looking for the right person later on. Yeah. So In a weird way, it was stressful, but in a weird way, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. It was fun to, you know, have new people coming in the studio. How many guys did you go through before you, before you yeah, found Magic? 10, 20 drummers? Yeah, well, it, well the, the issue yeah. was we had 15, 20 lined up, but yeah. five of them showed up. Right, classic musicians. Yeah, and then out of the five that showed up, maybe one or two of them showed up on time. Right, or with material practice. You were the one yeah. that showed up on time, right? No. No. <laughs> Actually, that was early. Listen, rock star, early. rock stars never show up. I, I I well, that was the problem. Billy was saying he's like, early, they didn't show up on time. That was like a bonus. We were yeah. like, okay, they're late. <laughs> no, I was early. I was early. And that, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't listen to the bass player. Yeah. <laughs> show up early. Don't come late to our shows. Come early. Come early. Get He'll even seat. take pictures with you, Get right? A good spot. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what's up. He brought yeah, actually, all his own drums. you got to be real nice to your fans, Billy. Yeah, I hope absolutely. you know that, man. Well, hey, we love it. <laughs> One second here. I was about to get into this. Actually, at our show at the uh, and Derider, what was it, Shelly's? Yeah, Shelly's. Yeah, at Shelly's. Uh, we're actually returning to Shelly's in September. Um, me, and September were, me and Billy were uh, doing some setup with his drums and everything like that. And this guy and his um, three little girls came over, and they all drew and colored pictures for us. They were musicians and stuff, like 
like that. I don't know. Yeah, there was what there was like a like princess with like drums and like stuff like that. And yeah. so we right. picked. It was just we aerial the, played yeah. Slayer. Yeah. So we took pictures. Like, we took pictures with them. We slapped one on its bass drum that had the um, drums on it, and then yeah. the rest went on a monitor. Yeah, that, so that was really that was really cool. Yeah, and like they drew Kevin as a princess, right? Yeah. 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 So <laughs> was, who do you think was playing you the drums? You are a princess. <laughs> yeah. Look at the fucking chair you're in. <laughs> <laughs> I said that's my chair, and this son of a bitch sits down. <laughs> Last I knew, this we was did. my show. This is your, fresh out of the studio. Yeah, we took this one out of a bar. This is the one so I typically get like a pedicure in. <laughs> I believe that, what Kevin just said. <laughs> yeah, we made Billy give the pedicures when he joined. That was, yeah, that was yeah, part that of the was, joining. Yeah, you got her in your stroke. That's how we got the job. So we're, you know, we're, that we were like, you can, you can drum, but can you file toenails? <laughs> that did not happen. You had a lot of experience, too. It was crazy. Right? He Billy, how really much shit did these guys give you? Bruised. These guys give you a lot of shit? No. No? no? These guys are all cool? Uh, we're super cool. We got a good chemical here. Yeah. Uh, we get along great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I've been in other bands where we used to give each other a lot more shit than these guys give me. Yeah. I mean, you know, as far as pranking each other and stuff. <laughs> these guys are actually pretty chill. Yeah. I mean, they party and they have fun, but yeah. it's like they're not... I'm not gonna kill you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> not on purpose. No, accidentally, maybe. <laughs> like we're gonna tie my truck to this and uh, tow you around. Yeah, tow me around the block. Around yeah. this backyard. Put it on some casters. We'll see who lasts longer. Chair, chair Captain. Captain. Can last. Yeah, right. Chair. We'll tow it all the way to our next show. That's, That's what's a long up. drive. It's a long drive. We're gonna be. Where are do you we care if be? we do you care if we plug our show there, Rick? Plug oh, everything. Plug, it, Rick. We plug, plug everything. Shows, yeah, this weekend. That's why you're here. This weekend. Friday night, we'll be down in Derrider, New York. At the Coal Yard, we'll be playing at eight o'clock. Uh, we'll be playing, we'll yeah, let Friday him. night. We'll let him have his moment. Eight to eleven, and then Joe, do you want to tell us where we'll be Saturday? Sylvan Beach, baby. Yeah, man. Pirate we're, Fest. We're gonna be playing Sylvan Beach Pirate Fest uh, up at Carbones. We'll be going With my buddy four. Scotty Decan. Yep. He's four o'clock. Be we'll be fest. going on up there. Yeah, yeah, I saw that actually. Yeah. That's gonna be a good party. That's gonna be. Scotty's packed. one of my best friends. Yeah, yeah that's gonna, gonna be packed. a good show. It's gonna be a good show. There's we're be a couple bands going. We're one of them. Uh -huh. well, three, four bands. Yeah. yeah. There's three. There's three where we're playing, and then Saturday night we're opening beach. for uh, Sweet Home. Yeah. Yeah. And then Who's another band us? called Rising Ghost. They're playing before us. Yeah, they're opening for us. Yeah. Rising Ghost. I have to check that out. I'm gonna need to do a rain check on Rising Ghost or Rising Ghosts. I'm not sure if it's. Gonna be a good party. Yeah, I hear the food there is great. Somebody told me that. Carbones yeah. is good. I've been there with my wife before. Yeah. It's I've never been out to Sylvan Beach. I haven't either. It's sick. It's gonna be it's a good my time. First time, Joe. First time. Fuck yeah, dude. We're Sylvan Beach virgins. Joe, I grew up <laughs> in Sylvan Beach back when it was just the midway and there was nothing there, especially nothing. in winter time. Now that I heard it's like nothing but. Yeah, casinos. they have a lake so there. What'd you now do out there? there. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a beach was there. Yeah. It was just there was Sylvan. No water. <laughs> <laughs> it was no water. It, was it wasn't just, even a beach. It was. It was Sylvan. That's how old I am. That's what's up. Sylvan. Everybody. Just doing her own There's thing a dude that lived there, so. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm going to say if you want to take one control, tell him to shut the hell up. No, it's good. Uh, as long as they're being picked up on the mic, they can ramble among themselves. All right. All right, man. Jonah Whitney. What's up? You're the bass player, right? Nope. No. Lead. You're the bass player. I'm the bass player. That's why I made bass player a joke. Don't trust the bass player. Okay. I yeah. got you. <laughs> but he does play the mean guitar, though. For what real. age he did does. you pick Full up shreds. that bass for the first time and actually stop? Um, so, actually picking up bass, I didn't pick up bass guitar until I was like... 18 years old, 17, 18 years old. You were an old man then. Yeah, I was. Yeah. And now, now I'm old as piss. So. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah, but you started on the guitar. I started on guitar, yes. And Why actually, you... before guitar, I started on drums. Oh, okay. It's just eventually... He's a real multi-instrumentalist. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know, parents got sick and tired of the acoustic drum set, so they're like, here, play guitar. And then yeah. from guitar, started listening to more Metallica, getting into like Cliff Burton and Steve Harris. And I was like, you know, the bass sounds like a pretty cool instrument. And then, until actually I joined Kevin with um, our old project there, I didn't, get, I wasn't really serious about bass guitar until that point. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're doing, you're doing well, man. Thanks. You're cooking. You're cooking. <laughs> yeah, you're Billy. Cooking. We we call him on stage the best bassist this side of the Mississippi, and he really is. <laughs> I try to be. <laughs> yeah. I've seen you rocking. I agree with that. And once we cross the Mississippi, he'll be the best on that side, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to give him a run for the money anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a lot to live up to. Do you guys try to plan on touring, like, out of the state? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah we'd yeah, love to do that. You know, yeah. once the opportunity We're, comes up, yeah. We're yeah. working. You can't. You had a turning stone. We got irons in the fire. I mean, we're working yeah. on originals. Yeah. yeah. We're, we got some originals cooking right now. Trying to put an album together. Sweet. And we got things going on. And when 
that takes place. Things our will socials, fall together a little faster. Our socials are really taking off. We're getting pretty nice following. Yeah, uh, mean, I've seen that. Mean Street Band Official, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At Mean Street Band Official, all those places. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, um, TikTok. This is the first time, too, threads. that we've ever experienced, like, we've got, like, some super fans out there from all over the place. Yeah, man. We've, yeah, never, we've never had <laughs> anybody so cool. take, like, us, like, we take our stuff very seriously, and it's kind of awesome to see how other people take us, like, oh, very, very seriously. Oh, it's cool showing up to venues and, like, people... Uh, are already there waiting for us to show up and come up and introduce themselves to the band be like oh you guys are awesome I saw you guys online it was cool uh, we're getting a bigger following online so we have people that haven't even seen us before coming out to shows just because they saw us you know on social media one of the, so, Shelley's is one a of good the, example because that's out in the middle of nowhere we went to Shelley's and places like ATV heaven you know what I mean right like, <laughs> it's like, have like well, it looks like it's going to rain and we got this live pavilion you know equivalent to like Sharkies or something you know right. yeah. I go we're going to pack this thing man I go, I don't know the weather. And all of a sudden, people just start showing. Yeah, 100 It was like multiplying. Like, like we started with, like, you know, 10, bad. and then 10 turned to, like, 40. 40 turned to, like, 100. Yeah, we probably had 150, 180 people there. Within, uh, yeah, that was just in the first couple rows, man. Yeah, it was. <laughs> That's as far as we could see. <laughs> that was at the gig, right? You know? No, this was at, this was at uh, Shelly's down oh, in the Rider. Yeah, that was a good time. And we'll be back at Shelly's September 8th for all you fans that were there and ones that want to check us out down in the Rider, too. We're coming back to the Rider this week. Yeah. We're building some cool fans. I mean, we even had this lady. We are going back She... We didn't have merch available yet. We're gonna have merch coming soon, um, and she she made her own Mean Streak merch for her and her yeah. kids. And that's that's cool. She sent us some pictures. She's rocking the Mean Streak shirt. So my girl can make shirts. Just to let you guys know. Cool. Oh, cool. She's made Trigger Finger Band shirts and uh, Shane Archer Reed shirts. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Hit merch. me up. <laughs> What was it, 50 we're shirts for like 200 bucks, something like that? I don't we're know. So <laughs> we're, we're, we're getting merch on. We'll get it. Yeah, we yeah. got merch. Actually, Kevin we, promised we me a, some merch. But. Kevin promised me a Mean Streak shirt. Yeah, your shirt's on the way. We've got, uh, we just put in we're orders for our shirts. first design, yeah. so we'll have merch soon. Awesome. Probably, I would say, within four or six weeks, we'll have a whole bunch and of And you had four shows. designs. Mm-hmm. Yep. And you're like, pick one. I was like, son of a bitch, it was hard, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> you can always buy a second. <laughs> yeah. You can have all, all four if you want. You can buy them all. There you go. How much are you going to charge me? I don't know. Let's see. We're not going to do that. Seventy-nine ninety. How much? Delivery. I tried cutting him off before he was an asshole. That's a buy one get one free price, isn't it? Yeah. (laughs) Here's here's the first shirt. It's a sucker. You know, we got a sucker here. We need three more. So, Joe, when uh, did you pick up the guitar for the first time? Give me some of your musical influences. Like about sixth grade. Yeah. I don't know how old you are in sixth grade. Like twelve, thirteen, something like something like that. I was 18. Um, I was like... You made it out eventually. I did. I, w- I was obsessed. Like, my dad was a big Motley Crue fan. Yeah. So I was obsessed with all the hair metal. And uh, I remember we went to the, gu- the guitar store one day, and I saw this old Epiphone Les Paul. And uh, I begged him. I was like, please, let me get it. I'll, I'll do anything. I'll work all summer. He was like, I'll get it, but you have to play the fucking thing. Like, <laughs> I, it's not going to be an ornament in your room. Yeah. You, you're going you're gonna to play it. So I got it. I took about two guitar lessons. I hated the guitar lessons, and then I just went on YouTube and, you know, learned songs and scales and then added different things and became more technical, more, you know, more advanced over the years and yeah. just kind of taught myself. And then, so yeah, so, I mean, big influences. I mean, obviously, like, Slash. Everybody talks about Slash, but, I mean, like, how can you not love Slash? He's my number one. He's uh, delicious, delicious licks. So good. He said delicious um, licks. <laughs> You hear that, Billy? Absolutely. Absolutely, I heard that. <laughs> it's crazy. I'll drink. To I that. gotta get used to this. There's nobody ever on this. <laughs> the technical yeah, stuff we'll like English. English. We tried. I'm a little too wide slash. to fit in the slash. frame. Slash. 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 A nice, tasty Myers Creek beer. Yes. Yeah. Slash. <laughs> I'm fucking drunk. <laughs> Myers Creek. He's drinking water. He lives here. You don't have to drive home. That's right. We would like to put me over there. I'm a little too wide scale yeah. though yeah. for that. Yeah. A lot of the blues too. BB yeah. King. Yes. Uh, Steve Ray Vaughan. There you go. Buddy Guy. Yep. All those guys. Michael Jackson. I got you. <laughs> hey, Michael, I don't know what Michael did behind closed doors. You made good music. Hell yeah, you did. Hey, and he cut him a couple licks on that one. Yeah, he too. did. Beat he it. Did. Yeah. He had some good tunes. Yes, he did. Yeah. Why do you think Kevin has those boots? I Michael know. Jackson gave them to him personally. Yeah, yeah. Personal. absolutely. When I was there, when I was at his fun lane, when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> that was wrong. I am not going to let you talk shit about MJ. <laughs> Michael Jordan? <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't shout, talk shit about Jordan. He's uh, the best. Rick, I think somebody's at your front door. They are. 
<laughs> That's God coming down for you, Kevin. Oh, okay. <laughs> he knows your shit. He's on the stairway to heaven. I'm on the highway to hell. There you go. Joe's in purgatory. Uh, Billy, over here. Yes. What what age did you start drumming? Um, okay, I come from a huge family. Yes. Huge, like our own football team. Give me some of your musical influences and favorite albums uh, and all that stuff. Well, I, uh, I've been playing since I was roughly four. Yeah. Four years old. My mom took a picture way back, and I'm on a little cheap, you know, drum kit. I'm staying in there playing. I couldn't sit down. I was so small, I had to stand. My brothers all had bands. I looked up to all these guys, and um, I would sit there and watch them in awe, just watch my brother's bands rehearse. They would leave all the equipment. So I couldn't plug in a guitar, so I'd plug in. I'd go over, and the drummer would go, yeah, play the drums. And, I'd, I'd, and then it just progressed from there. As far as influences, when I was younger, I... I uh, I, like, I always liked hard rock and, and rock and roll, but I played everything. Country, blues, folk. My uncles played fiddles and stuff. Yeah. I could play anything. I've been in studios. I cut a bunch of albums on different types of genres. I don't know. That was uh, part of the reason we actually hired him, is he brought in an album that he cut with his well, last band. Yeah, I cut a couple of I think of they were called, what, Doc Rhythm or something? Yeah, Doc Rhythm, Amethyst. I was on Amethyst, too. Yeah, and we listened to that, and we're like, yeah, oh, hey, I mean, this if guy. you got some time and you want to hear some cool shit, he's, yeah. a, he's a cool guy We got all the time he's in the got, world. Everything's fully charged yeah, for he, once. He, he's, <laughs> he's hung out with some real fucking rockers, man. Who <laughs> have you hung out with, Billy? The most famous one I think I ever had a chance to meet or hang out with. I don't know. My hometown, I had guys who were on tour with famous people or keyboard players, but I, uh, and they lived across the street from me, but the most famous person I think I got a chance to uh, jam a little bit with and hang with was probably Gene Simmons. Wow. Yeah. And uh, some of the guys in Kiss, and I mean, you got a chance to meet a lot of guys, you know, different guys. Yeah. When I was on the road, when I was younger, met a lot of different guys, guys in Blue Oyster Cult. Yep. Our old life sound man for Amethyst used to, be the, used to hang out with the guys in Blue Oyster Cult once in a while. And, I met all those, some of those guys a couple times, and yeah. been on the road. My best friend growing up, his father was on the road. Burton Cummings of the guess who, when we were kids, so we were over in Canada. With those guys a couple times partying. A lot of people on the road. I mean, a lot yeah. of good things. But my influence would be, I gotta say, Buddy Rich. Buddy Rich, Dick Buddy Rich. Shout out always, to him. Shout out to Buddy Rich. He watches. There goes his, his chimes right there. <laughs> and then uh, guys like uh, you know, you got us like Bonzo. Come on, man. You know. Yeah. Led Zeppelin, come on, man. Yep. You, know, you, know, mm -hmm. you got you know certain guys, John Bonham. Then you got guys like uh, Neil Peart. Mm -hmm. Everybody looks at technical, Neil Peart. I've you heard that name jazz, mentioned on my show before. Great, mm -hmm. Max Perth, Roach. Yeah. You, got the, you got a lot of uh, tons of jazz guys who were phenomenal. There's phenomenal drummers everywhere. Mm -hmm. I take a little bit from everybody when I dig, and I just kind of try to do my own thing. But yeah. Certain <laughs> things I dig, you know. I stole this from Jimmy Fallon. I made it my own. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. You got to do what you got to do, right? Yeah. Everybody <laughs> starts somewhere. Yep. Why well, had an old timer one time tell me just, just go do your thing, be yourself. You know? Hey, I'm being myself one yeah. million percent. That's why I got four people to watch this show. They you love. You can it. have influences. But just be yourself, and the best of you will come out. Yeah. That's what's I up. truly believe that. I think with us here, five people will watch your show. I, I guarantee there you go. it. I know that I'll watch it. <laughs> <laughs> There's the fifth. Yeah. I'm going to watch this back. Like, oh, there I go, spitting and stuttering again. Can't fucking say anything. <laughs> <laughs> There's the annoying laugh that everybody loves. <laughs> you should get a shirt that just says, ha, ha, ha. Uh, yeah, with your face on. Yeah, I can't help yeah, there it. There you go. I'm a happy person. I can't help it. Hey, you got some hey, marketing yeah, there. You're not the worst up. thing to be. Hell yeah. So I got a hold of the guys from the good band in Ugly. Um, you should do that show too. I okay. mean, you, I'm going to send you guys on a press junket. You guys will love it. Good. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he goes, your, your laugh is annoying yet satisfying. <laughs> I was like, why well, you got to be an asshole? He goes, because I love you. <laughs> there you go. But all of us podcasters stick together. We're all a fan of each other. We all communicate. and cool. That's a cool thing, man. Just like you guys in the bands. I'm sure you have friends with other bands. Yeah. And, yeah, you, you have to be. You have to yeah. be, especially as a local, yeah. as local artists, you have to be close. That's the thing we've been trying to do too. Uh, more now with this project is working with other local bands, setting up like multi-band gigs. You yeah. know, not just doing solo stuff as much. You know, we like to. We I look at it at least like the music community grows if everybody grows. So yeah. you know, yeah. we look we look forward to those shows we get to hop on with other artists like <clears throat> like our means or. Like our show up at Sylvan Beach uh, this Saturday, we're gonna be playing with, like Billy said, those two other bands, Rising Ghosts. Saturday, Rising Ghosts. Saturday, Saturday Ghost. Sylvan Beach, four o'clock. Carbones. At Carbones. Yeah. Rising Ghost and um, Sweet, Sweet Home. Yeah, so yeah, it's Sweet fun, Home. man. 
Yeah. You get to you get to rock out, and then you also get to get off the stage and watch a band after you're done. So yeah. Yeah. Not only that, interact our with fans, the crowd. Yep. Yeah. Our fans go, and then Rising Ghost fans go. Me, um, uh, Sweet yeah. Homes fans go, and then. All those people start talking. All those people start looking at bands that you know they probably wouldn't look at before, and they're like, "Oh, I like what these guys do. I like what these guys do." Yeah. Yeah. And then everybody's fan base grows from yep. there. Oh, that's that's going to be a blast. It's going to be a good show, man. It's going to be, be packed. Yeah. Dress up like a pirate, show up. Yeah, we're gonna. We're yeah, gonna, we're yeah, gonna yeah, be dressing up like pirates, and we're guess what? We're coming to loot all that booty. We've got we've got a special pirate surprise <laughs> for for Saturday. My man. He said, <laughs> he said it. I, I'll say what everyone's on the mind. <laughs> all right, 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 you said. <laughs> you drunk already? I mean, mate. We had a bottle of Jack before we got here. Hey, <laughs> I believe that too. Have you met Kevin? Have you seen? A, have you seen any of our videos? Have you seen our live shows? I have seen your live <laughs> shows. Yeah, we slam a bottle every show. Congrats every show. on the gig, too, boys. Thank That's you. Oh, a big thanks. deal. Oh, Thank that you. was so much fun, dude. Yeah. And did people, you guys pack that place? Yeah, yeah people good, ripped it up. They loved yeah. it. I mean, I, we couldn't even set up for ha or. Tear down for a half hour after. We were just taking pictures. pictures. Mm. Dude, it was so cool. There were some people from wedding receptions showed up. Yeah. Packed. Some girl's tit fell out. Yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we're like, we're finally rock and rollers. We've played it was a show insane. with titties. <laughs> I went and seen Showtime there. My move fell out. That was yeah. nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Equally as hot. Justin's like, put that shit away. <laughs> uh, oh, so yeah, you guys played the gig, man, already. Yeah. 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 Fun. Fuck. Yeah. It's that magic voice of yours, Kevin. Thank you. Yeah. I try. Yeah. I try. Actually, I did get to speak with um, Griffin, the guy that... Um, yeah. I held that little bastard when he was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I got to talk to him after the show. He was asking me how it went. I was like, it went pretty well. It wasn't our, you know, cool. tightest, but hey, we're, you know, we always look to get better. Yeah, but he was like, he said too, he was like, the biggest significant change in that was Kevin's voice. Yeah. He was like, Kevin was... It was well, like it was so much worse. It's not even funny. You're never yeah. coming back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get like neutered or something? Kevin works hard, man. He goes to vocal <laughs> lessons every week. Yeah, yeah I, I can't tell taking you. Taking care of his voice and thinking about it, he works hard, man. I can't. Yeah. I can't tell you. I, I think he's the only, uh, especially in rock and roll, singer that actually goes to a vocal coach and doesn't get butt hurt about it. Hey, <laughs> where are those? I can't sit here and like take all the credit because this project wouldn't be anything if it wasn't for all of us, man. And, and actually, I saw well, that's Gene the great Simmons. chemistry that we have. I mean, yeah. we all just get along so well. And, we just we all have the same vision. We just want yeah. to play music, fucking rock out. You guys all do this. Like, obviously, I'm not in it, but we you guys just sit around and just drink beer and shoot the shit, right? Yeah, we're yeah, best we friends, yeah. all of us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, that's how it should be. <laughs> the best part about it is, I think. Uh, we're all equally as critical of ourselves. You I don't know. I think Billy's worse on himself Billy. than anybody. <laughs> Billy's I, like, nobody he's beats like, up on me today. more than me. I, he's like, got that right, I'm like, yeah, you couldn't even slide paper under you, man. You were tight. <laughs> he's like, no, no, I could be tighter than that. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, man. We're, yeah, yeah, we always want to do better, it. and that's important. He's always yeah. striving to be better. Yeah. We're always trying yeah. to one-up ourselves. Yeah. So. For sure. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I mean, I watch every episode back, and I'm like, son of a bitch, I did that annoying life it again. I'm hard on myself. So now what we do, we record the entire set, and then we'll listen back to it, see what we did good, and there is bad. nothing better and more humbling than recording the setback, oh getting back god. to the studio, be like, dude, we killed that song. Listen back and be like, oh my god, this is horrible, <laughs> dude, dude. Through the direct, because through the direct mics, because you know, like cell phone videos, they, it's so bass heavy and so yeah. compressed because of how much volume's coming out. When you close mic everything up, get the proper gain structure, all that stuff, and you really analyze your performance, yeah. you'd literally just go, what the fuck was that shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah sometimes well, we, it's well, rough. You, you're literally like, all right. Um, after shows. You're, literally, you're literally just like, all right, guys, it was a good gig, but uh, I'm going to retire for the rest of my life. I think life. it's going to always go. be like that, though, because like, when you get in the studio and you start recording your originals and stuff, you're going to record it, and you go, that was awesome. And the engineers are going to go, yeah, that's great. Producers will go, great, you know? And you go to package it, and then... You'd be in your car like your Firebird or something. You'd be cruising out and you'd slap your stick in or whatever to listen it back and you'd be like, oh man, I could have done that different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I should have done that different. You'll always do that. If you didn't no give a shit about your craft, you wouldn't be doing yeah. it. Yeah. So I mean, it shows I mean, me that you guys yeah. are passionate about it just yeah. like I am about oh, this. Yeah. And yeah. I've met a lot of guys that are way up here. And they're, they're already in the big leagues, you know, at this rock and roll game. Yeah. And they were always the hardest on themselves and they're still like, oh, I wish I'd done that one. I, I was like, that song's a classic, man. You can't yeah. fuck with that. You yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. So well, it's I mean, like you're gonna always be like that, and which is okay. The other thing is, is, is like, <laughs> we obviously we care about how we sound, and we you know we practice a lot. We try and be as technical as possible, but like one of our 
biggest other focuses is just putting on a show. Yeah. Like, people, when they come to see you, you could be, you know, a musical genius, but if you're up there standing with your feet in one place, just, you know, doing your thing, it's boring. Yeah. I don't care how good it sounds, it's boring. Yeah. We're you know, you gotta, you guys. You gotta get up there, you gotta go crazy. We're there for you, you, you gotta guys, be sore tomorrow. That's, yeah. that's how we look at it, yeah. and we always put on a show like that. We yeah. always try to just yeah. tear it up, have a good time. We even have gotten to the point where sometimes you, like, We'll, we'll listen back to the tapes, and we know we're, like, on certain songs, listening back, we'll be like, oh, we went extra hard on this one. And we can really tell because when we were bouncing around on stage, the power chords got sloppy or whatever. But, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but they people, love it. I mean, we get come, good crowd reaction. The crowd shows up. They love what we're doing. We're putting on a good live show, and we're giving them entertainment, and they're having a blast, and they're yeah. loving us. Yeah. So now we're going to start writing some originals, and we're going to give them some more stuff to yeah, love. Absolutely. Yeah. I see that coming up. I see some good things happening here. Yeah, we've got a handful. Yeah. We've got a handful of originals. We've already been tossing around. We're just gonna take some time, probably this within this upcoming year, and just sit down and hammer everything out. We'll get, just yeah. get in the studio. We're gonna get it done, folks. We're gonna get it done. <laughs> Doctor Frankenstein. After every show, he has to re-sew my neck and bolt it back on. Hey, this man. I've seen things. you do yeah, that. You're gonna have surgery yeah. in the next ten years. Yeah, I was about to say I'm gonna look. Like, I'm gonna like Greg Fisher from Corpse Grinder. My neck's gonna be out the hair. We're gonna have to get like a brace for Billy so he doesn't headbang on stage. He's I was about like, to say I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna need to be careful on Friday because I can't go into Saturday with my neck in such bad condition after yeah. some of those shows. Yep. Uh, we'll I'm, give you I'm some gonna, Tylenol. You I've fine. seen videos of you. as like that motherfucker must go through a bottle of Tylenol to drink. <laughs> <laughs> no, just mental. He's like, I'm a marine. Just <laughs> mental. <laughs> just mental Jack anguish. Daniels. Jack Daniels. Yeah. yeah, the Jack Daniels numbs it for a while. He'll break one of his fingers after a show, so it doesn't. He doesn't have to think about it. Anymore. That's why we started drinking the Jack on stage, is because Billy would just be in such writhing agony mid-show. He would just slam a bottle. We're like, oh, we might as well join. Him. I'm going the Lemmy way. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Rock on, brother. There we go. The kids drink responsibly. Get a U Uber. Yeah, that's right. A Uber? A Uber. A Uber. A Uber. Get a Uber. Uber. Or a U boat. Boomer. Get Get on those bird scooters and rip it. It's not illegal. Get a taxi. Bicycle. Do the classic Dewey. Do the classic Dewey move and just ride a bike. Actually, I seen a scooter that the seat was a cooler. Oh yeah. They brought their beer with them. They got out the scooter and opened it up and they had beer. There you go. Like, there you That's go. a big brain moment. <laughs> <laughs> we need to hire somebody with one of those during the shows. Just drive past the front of the stage and toss them up. There's an idea. Play a stone cold. Give me my beer. Yeah. You're thinking get a potato cannon and just shoot beers into the car. <laughs> <laughs> Kill people. <Yeah. laughs> That'll go good until the first lawsuit. We'd make the news. <laughs> Kevin, that <laughs> might hurt. No such thing as bad PR. Yeah. <laughs> it's an eye, it'll grow back. Hey, put PBR in it. No such <laughs> no such thing as bad PBR. Uh, I don't know. know if that's water or PBR not. I'm sucks. not a drinker. Okay. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Uh, so what else, guys? What's all, what else is coming up? Uh, what else do you want to know? Yeah, what, I want to know everything. What that biker thing? Yeah, we've got... Uh, oh, yeah. So I can list that's them. Rumble in the Valley. Yeah, that's a big party. I'll try to list them off off my head. We've yeah, got, it's a big uh, biker a thing. So, yeah, no, I was about to say it's a biker myself, too. I yeah. love... Yeah. I, just place get a place with a bikes. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I got a Harley Fat Boy. And you're a Marine. 2005. Yeah. Fuck yeah. 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 You're yeah. staying here. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to adopt him too, aren't you? I am. I am. <laughs> yeah, man. We've got, uh, so yeah, this Friday, uh, 8 o'clock, we'll be starting down at the Coal Yard in DeRyder, New York. Uh, this Saturday, we'll be playing at 4 o'clock, opening up for Sweet Home. We Silver play Beach Pirate Festival. We go on, I think, like six thirty ish, give oh, or take. The really first because anyway, Rising Ghost plays from like four to six or something like that, and then by the time changeover's done, like six thirty. My yeah. bad. But that place is gonna be packed. How dare you? <laughs> so get there at four because you're gonna need yeah, two hours that, to get through the crowd. Seriously, and get to the that stage. that crowd is gonna be it's gonna be big. It's gonna be a big crowd. And then uh, party. let's see. After that, we've got August fourth. We'll be at Myers Creek, the oh, home yeah. of this beer. We'll be doing their '80s party. Um, I want to say we start there at six o'clock. And that's August 4th. What do you guys think of all these early shows? Because back in the day, it was like... It honestly I, depends on the venue. Like, we've played yeah, a couple of shows where we are start somewhere at 6 o'clock, but people are eating dinner. Yeah. And we're just like, we're not doing that anymore. Yeah. No. I'm not going to play... We're not going <laughs> to yeah. play Quiet Riot while someone's eating spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this show... No, this show that starts at 4 o'clock... Like, this show that starts at 4 o'clock... <laughs> The show that starts at 4 o'clock, people are going to be drinking, they're going to be, you know, party, partying, they're going to be dressed up like pirates, and everyone's going to be having fun, you know. So at 4 o'clock, people, some people might be trashed already. So, that, that, you know, it's all about the environment. We if people want rock and roll, if they want it loud, and if they want it rowdy, 
Do you what guys prefer you? to play late or early? Yeah, we proofread. I, I prefer to play late. We, proof, yeah, we sure. proofread all those shows that we book. We like we go out there and we like we want to make sure that everyone can get the best rock experience. So we make sure that we're playing at a time that's actually going to work and yeah. you know, I'll do all that fun stuff. But oh. yeah, so August 4th will be there. Um August 5th, I want to say, we're going to be at uh Living that wide place. open, living wide open in Costantia. That's oh, a motorcycle okay. rally. Oh, that's a motorcycle. That's I thought it was Rumble there's, in the we Valley. We have two. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah. Oh, August there we go. A couple motorcycle bashes. Living wide open. Uh, August twelfth. Yeah. We'll be at Horner Hall down in Homer. Yeah. Playing a festival down there. Uh, Horner August, Hall's a fun time. Yeah. Horner Hall's a blast, man. They do a. That's the kick-ass venue. They um, have a nice stage inside. And uh, August nineteenth, we'll be at Thunder in the Valley in in uh, Parish. Okay. Playing that. That'll be a lot of hard. August nineteenth. Right? Yep. And yeah. then, uh, yeah, September eighth, we'll be back at Shelley's to rock out. Something, something is just in the air down in the yeah. writer, man. They yeah. just eat Dude, it. Dude, I didn't even know there was a bar we in the writer, <laughs> and we played that first. You're from show there, right? Kevin? Mm-hmm. And yeah. that was crazy. Yep. That was electric. And then, good, uh, good people there. Good people there. Yeah. September thirtieth, we'll be at Rocky's Pub up in Liverpool. Because we all, we also understand that not everybody needs or wants a rock and roll band we understand that we're not for everybody but we want to go somewhere where the people like rock and roll the venue likes rock and roll where they like it loud yeah. then we're your band and guess what Do it's going like to be the best it's going to be it's going to be the best show songs? that you're going to get anywhere around here when it comes to rock and roll yeah. a couple originals that we decided to throw over yeah man billy i'm going to start with you dream venue to play what's that dream venue to play dream venue to play <laughs> Oh, Think wow. about it, boys. I'm going to go right down the line. I already know um, mine. <laughs> I'll go last, though. I would have to say, like, one of those big, big ass festivals, either in Germany or Brazil, where it's like a gazillion of people, you know, and yeah. you get your, you're happening because you got your album cranking and you're up there and up there. Road trip, boys. <laughs> get on the jet. We'll have to learn some get Portuguese. On the jet, and I'll play anywhere at any time. I don't care if it's in the morning. I don't care if it's at noon. That's a rocker. I don't care if it's at six at night. <laughs> That's I don't a rocker. Care if it's up here at midnight. I don't care if we gotta go on a jet and travel somewhere where we gotta go back in time. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I'll play any time. You're gonna stay too. You want <laughs> you want to hook us up? We're, we're gonna go and play it. Fifteen minutes set at one o'clock. And these guys will do it. <laughs> and these guys can play anywhere. Right? Are you listening to where we're playing Listen. lately? All right, we'll, we'll I'm anywhere. gonna I'm gonna jump the line. Vacan is my. Oh, yeah. Ultimate, yeah. ultimate stage. Why the fuck not, right? N- not just why the fuck not. <laughs> the biggest rock and roll metal one. festival in the world. Yes. Mm-hmm. Nobody, nobody rocks out and does heavy metal better than Germany. Boom. Oh. <clears throat> the Germans. Love they hit it. They hit it right with Wacken. Yeah. I agree. The Germans. <laughs> Germans love their. But everybody schnitzel, loves their stuff. Schnitzel, you know? their leather, and their rock and roll. <laughs> oh, they and their beer too, man. <laughs> They're gonna, they'll drink you to death. <laughs> yeah. you know. Joe likes his leather. He sure does. Do you like it, Rick? I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> My balls are sweating just looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> are you fucking, are, is something wrong with you in your head wearing them on a 90 degree day? It's possible. I don't know. I, I, I mean, we're in a rock band. <laughs> There's already something wrong There's in something, our hey, Something's off. Kevin, I already knew yeah. about. He's my fucking son. Yeah, <laughs> our combined <laughs> IQ is this like 10. <laughs> Kevin, where's your dream venue, brother? My dream venue? Hmm. I want to say, I was thinking about it like, oh, maybe somewhere like... Maybe somewhere like the Rainbow. But honestly, as a local boy who grew up in the Syracuse scene, just going to shows all the time, um, and just like there was nothing as a kid in high school and fresh out of high school that I wanted to do more than just like get in a mosh pit at a local venue. Um... I would say probably my dream show would be like a packed Westcott Theater in Syracuse. Dude, that's very possible. Yeah, that would be my dream show. All right. What about you, brother? That's cool. Mm-hmm. So there's this one cool. uh, video back in the 80s. Motley Crue did this crazy tour. Oh, yeah. And they went to Hampton Coliseum, packed out, 70,000 people. And Tommy Lee gets in the drum cage, and they lift that fucker up, <laughs> and he comes out over the crowd, and they bring him out. And I remember <laughs> that. He goes... Spin this motherfucker 180! <laughs> and they move him forward, he's looking down at the crowd, he's fuck it, let's go 360 degrees! And that shit's just going around crazy, and the band's going crazy. Something like that would just be, like, insane. Because I just see, like, I see those videos, and it's just energy. It's pure energy. Like, yeah. if I could see fucking Billy hanging out of a drum cage 30 yeah, feet up. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> going he says wild. that now, but after that bottle of Jack Daniels goes through him, he's go- getting on that rise. Yeah, big that's arenas. Tommy's thing. Tommy can have that. I'll go buy a fucking Jaguar with all that equipment. <laughs> I would love to just hear the natural reverb of a giant arena. 
That'd be sick. Fucking hit a chord and it's coming. He's back going right you. for the top. I know. I'm trying. I to... would love that. Well, you said your dream venue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sharkies. Sharkies. <laughs> yeah. We goal. love Sharkies. We I'm chilling. Sharkies. Yeah. Sharkies. We would love to play yeah. there. See, I, mean, I think it like millions because the more millions that the crowd, the biggest, yeah. the more money coming through the gates. The more money you're gonna <laughs> make as bands. He you wants know? a Ferrari. Yeah. Way. Well, you know what? will make a lot of money. A 360 degree cage of drums. Yeah, no, it's, it's, gonna be it's been done before. We have to get him a, a drum hamster wheel and just roll it. Oh, look, this guy's rolling the lawn now, hey. They're doing it again to me! <laughs> it's too hot to mow the lawn. Kevin, tell your guy to just knock it off. We can beat him up. <laughs> I got a rock and roll band out here this time, motherfuckers! <laughs> We've done worse than that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening to me again. Here, just, <laughs> just bring that mic close to your face. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> brought to you by John Deere. Yes, yes. <laughs> Chilling with Rick would like to thank their neighbor, um, Mr. Someone from Oneida, for mowing their lawn at the most inconvenient time every day. I can't wait to this airs. I can't wait. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. And people actually message me. Keep that lawnmower there, that's fucking great. I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> it makes it feel more real. Though. It is, that's what they told me. Your show is natural and it's real and that's why we love it. It makes it feel Oneida. Yeah, it is Oneida. You can't even get any more ghetto than Oneida. Is, this a, is that a needle? It is. <laughs> <laughs> I need that back. <laughs> I was about to say, you need to hear this story from Billy. <laughs> oh, no, we don't. No. <laughs> let's keep that under wraps. Yeah, we'll keep the... We'll keep the <laughs> but our studio? Yeah, let's keep that. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Let's not yeah, dox ourselves. Billy, I show. call this chilling studio. Just stay away from our fucking studio, <laughs> crackheads, yeah, please. please. Fuck off our property. <laughs> That's it's it. your own studio to sleep on that stamps. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta step over people once in a while to get to our studio. I understand. You gotta do what you gotta do. We're, we're cool with them. more rock and roll than stepping over. Yeah, we're cool with them. I feel sorry for a lot of them, you know? I feel sorry for them. Oh, shit. The ones that are all hung out, you know? Yeah. The difference is <laughs> that in the 80s, the, yeah. the rockers <laughs> used to be those people. Yeah. Yeah, but it, 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 yeah I, I don't think it was quite to that extent. Yeah, Kevin, hand that, him yeah. the mic. Yeah, hand him the mic. There you go. Yeah, I don't think it was that bad there. Uh, <laughs> back in the 80s, uh, you know, we had some drug problems, but there was a lot of cocaine there then. And I have lost all control of myself. You can't snort nothing because right. everything's got that fentanyl that shit in it. And uh, damn fentanyl, that should kill you. <laughs> you can't get picked up except for by a morgue guy with that shit. But anyway, okay, done. Thank you. Billy, this is Thank why you for that, Billy my show. <laughs> back to Rick with sports. <laughs> Mean Streak always brings a party wherever we go. Oh, this is nothing, man. We're chilling here. Yeah. This is like a sauna. Yeah, this is this we're is chilling. us Billy. chilling. We're chilling. Oh, we're chilling. That's named right. This is us chilling. Imagine <laughs> us partying. Now that's something else. Yeah, and you yeah, can Rick, see it. You, you, you gotta come party yourself. with us. Uh, yeah, I'll bring my water. Maybe we'll have a good time, man. Sure. I don't need a fucking drink, drink to have a fucking have good time, brother. Yeah. I'll entertain the shit out of you. Listen, we never said we never said that drinking is what makes us have a good time. That's right. Drinking just adds to I lost all control of my show, boys. I'm sorry. It happens. Hey. That's what makes it natural. Got any more it's questions, all, Paul? Good. No, I don't. Okay. It's I think all. you guys promoted the shit out of yourselves. I got to know everything I wanted to know. Friday night. Friday night. Friday night, 8 p.m. at the Cole Yard and DeRider. Cole Yard. Saturday. Street Band official. All socials. Saturday, Silver Beach Pirate Festival. We'll be playing the Car Bones, Beachside Grill, and yeah, make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Threads, you name it. We're on all of them at Mean Street Band Official. So, yeah, rock on. Thank you. And now he's done. Hey, he's done after I get them promoted. Oh, yeah. Hey, we want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you. You guys, yes. we want to say thank you. And thank you to Rick. Yeah, oh, thanks, yes. Rick, man. Rick, yes, thanks for having us here, man. Thank you for traveling it, as far man. as you do to come see us, all these people. Thank, thank, you, thank you, sir. Thank you, boys. I appreciate thank it. I appreciate you, Rick. <laughs> thank you, sir. Everybody, round of applause for chilling. Nobody clap. <laughs> hey, can we get together? You want a quick, can you do a uh, quick, uh, you want to get us the band together for a quick? Yeah, Let's get a quick picture. I can, uh, for now? Yeah, let me stop this and we'll get the group picture. Okay. All right. <coughs>